Well, we know the pandemic has had a negative effect on our mental health, but now some new statistics are coming in. Nearly two thirds of Americans 65 or older who have concerns about depression say they will not seek treatment. Here to discuss this and some other troubling numbers is Carmen Kosicek. She is a, psychi a psychiatric nurse practitioner and CEO and founder of a lay health team in Pewaukee. Good morning to you, Carmen. Good morning, Tiffany. Thank you for having me. Thanks for joining me. You know, I think those numbers um, make me really sad too, and I think those are hard to swallow. So let's talk a little bit about how big of a problem depression is. Sadly, it is huge. Obviously, due to COVID and all the sheltering in, the numbers are actually getting larger and larger. What is happening over time is people's serotonin levels go up and down, but the trajectory long term has continued to go down. What's even more frightening is what you've also additionally spoken about is our senior population. So people 65 and older, one out of three of them are depressed, but even more alarming, two thirds of them admit that they're not likely to go and seek treatment. They do need help, which even now more so pharmacogenomic testing with GeneSight is more imperative so that providers can pick the right treatment the first time around. Well, I think a lot of people are at home saying, you know, I feel down, I feel slow, I feel tired, but they don't really know if they have depression. So what are some symptoms that people can recognize as uh, signifiers of depression? And this also makes it challenging with COVID because a lot of the normal depression signs that we would look for is lack of engagement in normal activities that they would choose to do, like going out with other people. Obviously with COVID, that is a challenge. So what I would tell friends and family members to check on with their, with their loved ones is, are they engaging in life? Are they making meals? Are they taking care of themselves? Are they going for a walk outside at certain times of the day when they can get out and still social distance? Are they still wanting to plan, um, you know, for example, what do they want for the holidays? Are there gifts that they're asking families for? or have they totally self-isolated, gone into hunker down mode, into a shell and are not even interfacing with people? Mm. I mean, it makes me sad. And I think all of us have felt those things that you're talking about. So I know that people are hearing this. Um, what is the trouble in treating depression? Is it hard? You know, it's really not as challenging as people would think. If you put nutrition into the brain with some vitamin D, which also helps COVID, they claim, as well as medications if they're needed and selecting the right medication the first time around, treatment is helpful within a month or less, depending on the medication that's selected. Let's talk about trial and error, because I think that's what people think of when they think of trying a new medication. How, how can healthcare providers be helped in that area? Definitely with pharmacogenomic testing. So it's not an end all and be all as nothing is, but it gives you direction. So again, I think of it like Siri or um, Google on my phone when I ask it how to get someplace that sometimes it lies to me and it takes me a place that I'm like, what are they thinking? But the majority of the time, it takes me directly where I need to go. And that's how the science is with pharmacogenomic testing. GeneSight is one of those opportunities that are available for patients to have utilizing at their provider to help pick with medication choices. Well, and it's a simple swab test, right? So it, it's a little swab that collects your DNA. The re results then give information about genes and what drug interactions, medications, possible dosage. So why do you use the GeneSight test? What are, what are you seeing these benefits providing? Well, first of all, it's, like you said, it's just a Q-tip swab in the cheek. So it's not really that invasive. It's kind of similar to brushing your teeth, only taking the cells from the inside of the cheek. What I find with it is there are a lot of medication options, but historical data has showed us with the STAR-D and KD trial that the more we hop from med to med, the less chance each medication works, so the less chance of efficacy. With providers utilizing this technology, we can streamline our options by knowing genetically which medication is more likely to help and at what dose it needs to be to help. So therefore, we're not hopping from med to med to med and we can actually help with the depression symptoms earlier rather than prolonging it over time as different medications are used. I think when it comes to depression, streamlining is so important because getting help quickly and efficiently matters. So how do people get the GeneSight test? What do they have to do? 
All they have to do is ask their provider. The coverage is great. Medicaid and Medicare is 100% covered. And then commercial plans obviously vary, but there is coverage across all payer mixes. And all that they need to do is ask for a gene site test with their provider. We're almost out of time, Carmen, but can you tell us um, you know, an example of how you've used it and how long you've used it? I've been using GeneSight since 2016. This is not a new technology. It's been around for some time. It came out of the Mayo Clinic with all the tr uh, clinical trials and data from there. So I've been using it for a long time. I specifically use it in children and in older people. Why would I pick those populations? Because usually those are the most vulnerable that need attention quick. From there, the middle of the road age people, which you and I are in, as soon as they ask for it or if I offer it, the uptake is becoming faster and more um, something that people go, yes, I want that. It's been a little challenging because of lack of education on this product, but it has been out for a long time. And I absolutely do feel that it's something that should be utilized more often. Thank you so much for joining us, Carmen. I'm gonna make sure everybody knows how to learn more and find GeneSight as well. Thank you, Tiffany. Appreciate it. For more information about the GeneSight test, visit the website GeneSight.com, or you can call toll free uh, the number on your screen, which is 866-260-2394.